Um, yeah. I'm working on a story about Kayla. Oh, cool. Um, obviously, she's had an interesting career, the injury early on, and last year she was coaching yeah. a U14 team. Just um, Can you put the impact she's had on this program into words? Um, you know, I think, first of all, she's, you know, she's the best player that's ever played here. And so to kind of get a second lease on life and have her come back after being out for a year, um, it's just been such a spark in the program. So, uh, la you know, the COVID year was pretty devastating for softball. Like we had made a run of three NCAAs in a year. We had all these seniors back in 2020. So we were pretty stacked. And I think everybody that season just really felt how special it could be of like, oh, let's go four times in a row, let's see what we can do. So when it got shut down, that was a, a tough, tough one. And then us not bringing our fifth year seniors back last year when most of the country did was really hard. So now you lose the 2020 season and 2021, you're up against all of these old teams without having those older players. And so last year has been tough. And Kayla coming back was just such a, a cool spark. She's She's an inspirational kid. Like if you spend time around her, you would not believe someone that's that fierce in the box is like that uh, humble and sweet of a person. And so she's just, she's made us all better. What was that process like to get her back? Oh, my understanding is it was Arduous. pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, there's a lot behind the scenes, but Wisconsin's got a really good um, compliance staff. So Melissa Christensen, our compliance person, just worked really hard. And there was a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, of just the paperwork and all of that and we tried to make it make it easy for her not to see all of the hoops to jump through but you know at the end of the day we got it done <laughs>